today is a Sam's Club Shop With Me video. Let's meander through the store and see what is new for fall slash winter and get some groceries. Let's go. Right when you walk in, we got all the Halloween stuff right up front. For $12, they have a 12 cone pack of the Popcornopolis popcorns. This is what I always steal out of my kids at trick or treat buckets. It's so good, the snickerdoodle and the kettle corn amazing. For $33 here, they have this pumpkin carving kit. Now, you can get a pumpkin carving kit for between $15 to $25 off of Amazon, but if you don't have time to wait, this is an option for $33. Several non-candy trick-or-treat options. They have mini cheese balls here, pretzels here for around $7.50. They have 24 packs of Michelob Ultra here if, if adults just want to post up and drink while they're handing out candy. This is a new item for $160. It's a pop up movie theater kit. You get a 120 inch indoor outdoor projector screen, the projector, and a party speaker all in one for 160. Then we got some massive pumpkins here for eight dollars each. I don't need anything this big. I am carving pumpkins with my boys this weekend, but these are way too large. I I can't lift them. They definitely can't lift them. So I'll have to get them somewhere else. Then we got all the fun, huge Christmas stuff here for your front yard. It's all like 100 plus dollars if you really wanna go all out this holiday season. I love Christmas as much as the next person, but I am not the one who goes all out decorating in front of her house. I just have one of those projectors that you stick in your front yard. It's the laziest thing ever. And then you turn it on and it puts LED lights all over your house. And that's as extreme as I get, <laughs> which is not extreme at all. They got all their Christmas trees here pre-lit and they are a better price than at Costco. Their 12 inch tree that you see here is 470 here at Sam's Club. I'm pretty sure the Costco one was 550. $90 for a nativity decor scene here, $70 for this gingerbread village. Now this is a great deal. For $6, they have two different packs that you can get, but it is 150 sheets of premium tissue paper and it really does look premium. They have a holographic options. It is a hefty amount of tissue paper considering how thin they are. This would cover everything I would ever need for all of my gift bag wrapping needs. For only six bucks, that is cheap. If you were to get 150 sheets from Dollar Tree and obviously smaller packs, it would definitely be more than six dollars. So many decor options overall. This is something I'm going to get. In my recent Costco shop with me, I wanted to get a candle that looked similar in design to this because it's kind of a dupe of the Volu Spa candles that are way more expensive. And this one, is 36 ounces for only $22. Now, I wasn't able to get the one at Costco because it was buried and I was not strong enough to get it, but this one is holiday scented and it still has the volume spa look. I'm going to get this. Oh my gosh, I wish you had Smell-O-Vision. It smells so good. Cranberry spiced sangria. It has five wicks on it. It is very heavy because it's a glass candle. Definitely looks like a high, high-end volume spa candle to me. There's always that random person too that you get in Secret Santa or something and you have to buy a gift for them and you have no freaking clue what to get them. Candle is always a good option if it's a woman and this looks like a really nice, quality candle. Christmas trees and candles. That's about as crazy as I get in terms of Christmas decorating. For $50, this Igloo backpack cooler is new. Now, if you have an outdoorsy person you're buying a holiday gift for, you could essentially wrap a bunch of outdoor gear in this type of backpack. The gift wrap is also the present. In their backpack cooler, you could put in one of these camping blankets for $30. For $25, they have all these knives. <laughs> I am so not an outdoorsy person, so I don't even know what you would use a knife for other than just cooking or cutting an apple or something. But I'm sure the outdoorsy people know what to do with these things if you were to get it for them. Oh, this is cool. For $50, they have these waterproof National Geographic binoculars. More outdoorsy gifts here for the rugged man or woman in your life. For $100, they have this stealth cam trail camera. Truly no idea what any of this is for. I'm assuming hunting because it's got like the whole camo thing going on. We got a camo backpack here for $40. 
some all weather rubber boots for 50. Then we have like the soft gifts, I'll say, for the soft people like me. This compact seated elliptical, I mean, it's $230. It's not cheap, but I am strongly considering getting this down the road because it's starting to get cold here. And when it's cold outside, I don't really wanna be outside. So I, ha I haven't been going on my walks and my jogs and stuff. So this is something I would use while I'm sitting and watching TV, working at my computer, but I don't know. I'm gonna hold off right now. It is $230. Certainly a want, not a need. And if I'm being honest with myself, if I had it set up at my computer, I probably would still be too lazy and just not use it and work on my computer just sitting like a little couch potato. Moving to toys, there are so many toy options for the holidays. We got $35 for this huge elite trainer box of Pokemon cards. My boys are so into Pokemon right now. They want all the Pokemon cards and I'm not buying them for them anymore because they just end up all over the house a mess. They act like they care about them, but they don't treat them like they care about them. So I'm done. I'm done with Pokemon cards, even though it's something that I loved when I was a kid and I feel like I relate to my kids on it. They need to learn how to care for their cards if they want more. Then, holy shit, Nikes, $150 for six dolls. I mean, I'm a boy mom, only have boys. I guess that is what boy mom means. <laughs> you guys are not dumb, but six dolls for 150 bucks, is that normal? That is so much freaking money. I don't, I don't even know if I'd want my daughters playing with these dolls anyways. I'm being so judgy for my hypothetical daughters. Anyways, let's move on. I, I bought this for my kids many years ago for $40. I actually think it's the same price as it was three years ago when I bought it for them. For $22, I know all the boy toys. I bought things like this for my boys in the past and they love them. You screw everything together with these nuts and bolts and it's really easy for them to build ages three and up. And it comes with a little screwdriver so that they can screw everything in and it's so fun. Oh, this is so cute for $20. Once again, for my hypothetical daughter, it is a tea set and it comes in this fun carrying case to keep it all organized, 18 pieces. They have a unicorn one and a llama one. For $23, these are the dolls I would get for my mini, <laughs> mini my, if I had a daughter, I would get her this Raya one. Her doll, these are cheaper than those, I don't know, weird creepy ones that were over there in the corner and they're Disney themed. I feel like usually you have to pay a premium for Disney stuff, but in this case, these are cheaper than those other ones. More Disney stuff for $20. They have these adorable dress up sets with a crown, wand, shoes. They have several different types. Sam's Club is always so good when it comes to Disney licensed toys, shirts, all that stuff. I feel like they always have so many more options than Costco in the Disney realm. And for $50, it is not too late. If you are watching this pre-Halloween, they still have the coolest Transformers Halloween costume in existence where your child can literally transform from the robot to a truck when they lay down. I mean, $50 is a lot for a costume, but for a genius costume like this, I feel like it's worth it. Again, Sam's Club coming through with the actual licensed product. I mentioned my Barbie dream house in my Costco video because Costco had something similar-ish, but it wasn't the Barbie brand. But for $275, you can get the actual Barbie dream house, the 60th celebration dream house here. I mean, I didn't even really like Barbies that much when I was little, but I loved my Barbie dream house just cause I don't know, it was a Barbie dream house. I liked it enough to destroy my brother's favorite Christmas present when he even somewhat damaged my Barbie dream house, but I don't know. 275, that, that's a lot. My parents must have really loved me when I was little. For $125 less, $150, you have this beachside dollhouse that you can get instead. And this is the coolest section of the store right here. There's a lot of items here that I have not seen at Costco or anywhere else yet. I mean, they have this Segway electric scooter just like what Costco has, but Costco doesn't have a 24 volt go-kart for $400. This is pretty cool. It's a McLaren brand go-kart Formula One team. It goes up to 8.7 miles an hour, ages six plus. 
this. I mean, that's a pretty sweet toy. And if you want a similar speed, but less money, there is this Jetson Remix hoverboard slash go-kart type thing. It's $280. Actually, my neighbor has one of these. I think he retrofitted his to be a lot faster because I was able to drive it around the neighborhood once. It is really cool. I don't know. Overall, these are, these are some sweet gifts sweet big gift options for kids. And then they have this youth electric scooter for $259. Costco does not have a youth version. It is for ages 10 plus. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, but I'm gonna say it again. I personally, my, my kids can use their legs to scoot around town. I am never buying them an electric scooter or electric anything. They need physical activity. Then this is something I truly can say I have never seen sold anywhere. They're at home six volt bumper cars. For $230, you get two of these bumper cars for your kids to play with at home. That is really cool. But I point out all these cool things all my kids have are three wheel manual scooters like this and they are perfectly happy. If your kids like these surprise toys things, for $35 they have the unicorn ones. These are like $50 normally at Target or Walmart and then $30 for these Smashers ones. I will say, my boys have loved it when I get these surprise toys things for them, especially the Ryan's Toys Review ones, which I won't buy for them anymore going forward. It's super exciting when they're opening it all up, but the toys inside are just POSs, and they just end up in the trash eventually, or lost, or just a mess, or you end up stepping on them and like cutting your foot open. I just personally, not the biggest fans of these, but I have bought them for my kids before because they really love them. Will not do that in the future anymore though. I, I love my kids. They, they don't need those anymore. But if your kids like them, I mean, it's cheaper to get them here than to get them at Target or Walmart. For $30, we got a cocoa melon toy for ages two plus for the cocoa meloners out there. And then $45, we got good old Bluey. My, my four-year-old loves Bluey. Next, we got some humidifiers and heaters over here. They have a Homedics humidifier that is cool and warm air for $90. I believe the one at Costco it's slightly different than this, but it is $5 less at Costco. Then the Wuzu brand is like a cult favorite brand out there. It's $100 for this ceramic fan heater. It's actually a pretty sleek looking ceramic fan. It looks nice. For $170, we got this huge gas patio heater here. The Big Buddy for $150. This one here is $100. Infrared tower heater has kind of a vintage look. They still got all the Halloween costumes out here. Girl stuff always costs more money. The girls Halloween costumes are anywhere from $20 to $40 and the boys ones are 20 on that side to $25 on this side. So the boys stuff costs less money. And I already have a feeling that my boys would want these Minecraft costumes. I'm gonna bring them costume shopping this weekend, but, but strong feeling that they're going to want to be this Ender Dragon, all three of them. We got some new lower prices here on items we saw last time. They have $5 off the beer making and bottling kit. Enough people must realize that just buying beer already made is easier and probably tastes better. So they've hit, needed to lower the price to sell through it. And then they have have $20 off this 15 and one. Oh my gosh, this is freaking heavy home office. I mean, it's really cool. It has the huge LED conference light all around it so that people can see you and it doesn't look like you're in a dark basement when you're on a Zoom call, but I don't know. It seems very extra to me. I personally own this one here. It is only $28. I love this thing. I use it all over my house to work on my laptop. It has a beanbag bottom, a memory foam pad here. You can have your pens or pencils held in place here. You can hold your cell phone there. Overall, I really like this lap desk for $28. For $25, I've showed this before, but they have more inventory than ever right now. I'm sure it's a very giftable item, but it's the Rocket Book Fusion. This is something that was on Shark Tank. I love the show Shark Tank. Even though the billionaires on the show, I feel like are kind of a-holy, they always lowball everyone, and it makes me so mad because they're 
freaking billionaires. I know it's an investment, but please just like help us little people out, right? Anyways, the way this works is you write on it with any of the Pilot Friction erasable pens, and then you can upload what you've worked on to the cloud, and then you can just wipe the pages clean with water and a microfiber towel that's included and reuse the notebook over and over and over again. I feel like this is a good time to say that this video is not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. Wish it was, but it's not. So if you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, follow, share with friends, family, foes, whoever you think would enjoy this video. And thanks for being here. For $33, they have these eight packs of reversible multi-purpose flooring. I used to have my entire living room covered with this type of flooring when my twins were really little. When I had my twins, I was a first time mom. So I already had all the mom anxiety times two with the two babies. So like everything was super padded, gated, baby proofed. And I used this type of flooring to make sure that if they just fell when they were crawling or whatever, like they would never get hurt. And if you want something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for $35, they have this eight pack. It's a slightly different brand and just prettier colors. This is a new item for $120. You get a set of two lamps, a tall standing lamp and a table lamp. And then for $40, they have these knitted poofs not soft they're hard as rocks but i guess they're intended to be a footrest or like a really hard ball that a cat can lay on i don't know maybe i'm not a poof person but 40 dollars if you are a poof person then they still have these huge mirrors here at such a good value this 35 inch circle mirror is only 50 dollars. that same size mirror at target is almost a hundred dollars then they have this 32 by 70 inch large mirror here. They're starting to run low in stock. They have either this brown color or this gray color here, and it's only $150. Then in the home area for $15, they have a 50 pack of these velvet hangers. I recently recommended specific velvet hangers that I got off of Amazon. I personally like white velvet hangers, but for $15 for 50, this is cheaper than what I got off Amazon, if you don't mind the black. And then we have a new item here for $20. You get a two pack of these woven baskets. They're actually pretty good sized. 17 by 13 by nine inches. They're kind of a plasticky weave, but it feels like it would be really sturdy. It has a bamboo like handle on it. If you're in the market for a large basket, this is a great value and you can match it to this $25 laundry basket here so that your whole bathroom coordinates. For $70, we have this Works Nitro Professional 53 piece tool set. Now I just bought a tool set off of Amazon. It was a lot less money than this, around $30. But now that I am single, my ex took all his tools out of the garage and I realized I don't have anything to fix anything around the house. So I bought a simple yet extensive tool set that has all the basics off of Amazon just so that I'd have something in case, you know, I gotta do something around the house. And what is this here? For $19, we have a waterproof pet throw blanket, which is actually kind of cute for a pet throw blanket. It's got a water blocking liner in it. Hey, this could be a good toddler throw blanket. Toddlers are kind of somewhat like pets in that they just make messes and like pee everywhere. So yeah, this is cool. $33. I was hoping the huge thing of Powdered Tide would be on sale here. Unfortunately, it is not, but I am completely out and I need to buy more, so I'm gonna get it now. This is new for $180, the Ninja Speedy Rapid Cooker and Air Fryer. You can steam and air fry at the same time in one pot. The air fryer cooks entire meals in 15 minutes. I I do like the Ninja brand. I own multiple things from the Ninja brand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to do a little bit more research on this because this looks pretty cool. I am not the best cook but if I can do it easily in 15 minutes, maybe I could be a good cook. However, I will say I do own this Instant Pot and I almost never use it. I mean, one's in a blue moon to make soups and stuff, but I should probably donate it or give it to someone or just freaking learn how to use it. Maybe if you guys have any recommendations for Instant Pot recipes, let me know in the comments below. The Ninja Creamy that turns anything into ice cream is 
$30 off right now, obviously likely because it's starting to get cold outside. People aren't trying to make ice cream as often. I have a feeling during Black Friday, don't quote me on this, not promising anything, but I have a feeling the Ninja Creamy is gonna be bare bottoms, bones, bare bones, bare bottom pricing around Black Friday. For $70, they still have this at Nostalgia Retro three-in-one breakfast station, which is making me so hungry right now. Breakfast is by far my favorite meal. Eggs and the toast, they look so good. All right, moving on. With the holidays coming up and leftovers, they got all kinds of stuff for food storage. $25 for this 24-piece glass lock set. If you prefer plastic over glass for $21, they have this 20-piece set by Members Mark. It's shatter resistant, leak proof, and then if you give a lot of leftovers away to people and you're just looking for the cheapest of the cheap, you got the take-alongs Rubbermaid at $20 for 64 pieces. Because we all know when you give friends and family leftovers as they're leaving your house, you will pretty much never see those Tupperwares again. For $15, we love these Whiskware snacking containers. They sell them in two packs here. You can do Star Wars or a princess set, but I own three of these, one for each of my boys and on road trips, these fit perfectly in their car seat cup holders so I can have all their snacks ready for them in the car for a road trip and they can serve themselves. One of those items is my two tiered fruit basket. So I'm going to get this one to replace it. And I think I actually like this one more than the one that I lost. It should fit perfect under my cabinetry so I don't need to leave it out on my island. So I'm counting it as a win. For $19, I'm going to make my sons the happiest boys in the world. It's getting cold outside, so they need some sweaters and warmer outfits. And as I've said before, and in many of my videos, they love Minecraft. So I'm gonna get each of them one of these Minecraft active sets. They all wear the same size, so it's real easy. Then for $13, they have these Eddie Bauer faux shearling, oh, faux shearling on the inside fleece shackets. These are so cute. They have a red one, a gray one, and this brown one. I think I'm gonna get the brown one. The brown one's like the ugliest, but in a way it's also the cutest and most rugged. And I guess rugged is what I'm going for with my six-year-olds and four-year-old. Boom, okay, we can be warm this fall now. For $17, they also have these faux fur lined rubber rain boots. They have a dinosaur one, a shark one, and a mermaid one. For $23, I have never seen the Banana Republic brand here at Sam's Club, but it's a cashmere blend wrap. It's very soft. For $22, Sam's Club is just continuing to dupe the Barefoot Dreams brand. They have this luxury cozy lounge cardigan that is made from the Barefoot Dreams cozy material. Feels identical. It's the same fabric, just 100% polyester. So save your money. Don't get the Barefoot Dreams ones. Come here to Sam's Club. For $25, they also have expanded their selection of their luxury cozy wraps or bathrobes. That again is the same Barefoot Dreams material. I really like this one. For $20, they have these button up front cardigans from Gap. Man, Sam's Club is actually really upping their clothing game. I feel like the clothes here for women are cuter than what they have at Costco. Somehow it's 2022 and I don't personally own a shacket yet, but for $25, this is a pretty cute shacket. I don't know, should I get it? I wish I could try it on, but there's no fitting rooms here. I mean, I can always return it. I think I, I'm, think I'm gonna get it and try it because this is really cute. I love the colors. For real, Sam's Club, I am impressed with your clothing selection right now for fall. For $20, the new blanket they have right now, personally, is not my favorite. It is a faux mohair throw, and I just feel like you're gonna be covered with this dog hair looking stuff anytime you use it. So personally, not my favorite. For $30, I much prefer the dupes of the Barefoot Dreams at Cozy Throws, which they're almost sold out of at my store. They only have these few options left. They normally have beige and pink colors as well. For $27, so cute for kids. They have these critter, or wait, they're not for kids. These are adult holiday pullovers. So if you have 
kind of a goofy family, I guess. These are something you can get for the holidays. They do have kids ones though over here, just not holiday themed. These cozy critter wraps. They have several options for kids and they are $23 each. For $100, this looks like the coziest thing in the world. It is a kid's big floor cushion. You could prop it in the corner like a bean bag for day use. And then if your kid has someone sleep over, you could turn it into a bed for the sleepover. In the health and wellness area right now, which is also by toiletries, I should probably be getting more protein in my diet. And by probably, I mean, I really do need to get more protein in my diet. But I don't know, protein drinks just never taste very good to me. I have the Vital Proteins Marine Collagen Proteins that I've been adding to smoothies and my yogurt and stuff to just get a little bit of extra protein in my diet. It claims to be unflavored. This, is, this isn't this is the exact one I get. I get the Marine Collagen one. But even the Marine Collagen one claims to be unflavored. There's still a little bit of flavor in there. But it is unnoticeable enough that I add it to things. Holiday Protein Fine, that looks pretty good for 20 $25, they have this peppermint hot cocoa protein powder here. It really, oh wow, zero grams of sugar. They use erythritol to sweeten it up. That looks pretty tasty. For $20, if you know someone who loves chapstick, they have this Burt Bees 12 Holiday Surprises Advent Calendar. It does not show you what it has, oh wait, it does show you kind of what it has on the box there, just in writing, but this is what you get in the Advent Calendar. $5 off these Goli Ashwagandha gummies. Now, again, this video is not sponsored. However, I will say Goalie must have seen my most recent Sam's Club Shop With Me video because they ended up sending me these to try because I mentioned I was thinking about trying them but I wasn't pulling the trigger on it. And they sent me one of these and I've been taking them and I do gotta say, I like them. So their marketing strategy worked. I am going to be rebuying these now and they are $5 off, $25 for 120 of these gummies. But I like them because they help you maintain normal cortisol levels to promote a healthy response to everyday stress which I got a lot of everyday stresses going on in my life right now. If you've been following my channel, and I guess I've already mentioned in this video, going through a divorce right now. So yeah, these have been helpful. Maybe it's a placebo, I don't know, but even the placebo has felt helpful to me. Update on this, I bought it last time that I was here because it's a great value compared to how much it is if you were to buy it on Amazon, but I am not going to be repurchasing this. It works well enough that I'm going to use it up, but the conditioner doesn't detangle my hair very well, so it's a pass. Okay, I know this seems like the dumbest, most Gen Z thing in existence, but for $50, we got this portable B beauty mirror, which actually is probably a good gift if you got, I don't know, someone who's trying to be like an influencer or something in your life. But I actually am going to get this as embarrassing as it is to purchase publicly. I'm going to get this because I guess technically I do shit like this sometimes on my Instagram and TikTok. So go follow me over there. All right, let's see what we got in the pantry section now. And this, this right here for $5.50. This right here is why I love Sam's Club and Walmart so much is because they make things like this exist in the world. This looks so good. I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I mean, it's just pure sugar, yeah, but it's, I'm sure, delicious. This one would be so good to top cookies with or look, ice cream, milkshakes, more. I mean, I'm not gonna get any of this because I definitely don't need any of it, but it just makes me happy knowing that these exist in the same world that I live in. For $8.50, they have four packs of the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits that are so good. Now, I try my darndest to reduce my gluten intake and if you go to Walmart they have these but a gluten free version. They're not quite as good as these but they're still amazing. Really don't need that much in the pantry section. I like the Victoria's marinara sauce at Costco so I've stocked up on that. I don't need any gluteny noodles right now. I do all the gluten free noodles at my house. This Cheetos stuff here, I've had it before. Personally didn't think it was very good but just seeing the Cheetos logo makes me want to buy it again. But I know it's no good so I'm gonna keep walking. Oh, and for $11.58, I think this is new to Sam's Club. The Seeds of Change Organic Quinoa and Brown Rice with Garlic is really good. I used to rebuy this all the time, and then I started just making quinoa and brown rice together in my rice cooker and adding salt and garlic, and it's really good, but if you don't 
have a rice cooker or don't feel like making it from scratch, this is really seasoned well and tastes really good and is healthy. All right, gotta get some easy snacks for my kids for 20 bucks. I am repurchasing these Z bars. My kids like all three flavors. They will happily eat it. It's easy to keep and store in your car and just toss in the back when someone gets complaining and hungry. So we love these. For 12 18 we love these fig bars as well, but I specifically like getting the gluten-free ones, which you can only get gluten-free at Walmart and Target. They got all the hot chocolate items on display here for $10. This is the bougie stuff right here, these Belgian milk chocolate bombs. It's chocolate on the outside, got marshmallows on the inside. You throw it into your cup of hot milk or water, watch it dissolve and enjoy. For $17, my kids and I are obsessed with these. It's pretty expensive, but it's got probiotics in it. It's probiotic water. So it's just water in here and you push this little button down and it releases the probiotic powder into here and then you shake it up. They taste really good and they're good for you. So I'm willing to spend the pretty penny on it. $14 for a 30 pack of Dunkaroos and I'm gonna get them. I know multiple people every time I get these comment that I can just buy frosting, like a big tub of frosting and some graham crackers. And yes, I could do that, but then I would eat an entire freaking tub of frosting and an entire sleeve of graham crackers. This limits me to just this small amount so I like it. I think of it like a healthy portion thing if you can have Dunkaroos and healthy in the same sentence. And also I know they are not gluten free but everything in moderation. For $10 this looks kind of good. Skinny Pop Holiday Popcorn. White chocolate peppermint gingerbread cookie and really snickerdoodle is the only one I would want. I wish they just had a big bag of just snickerdoodle popcorn. Instead for $16 I'm going to get this variety pack. This is new I believe. They used to only have the basic skinny pop but this here they have kettle corn basic and white cheddar i love all three of those flavors so i'm gonna get this for 650 this boom chicka pop sweet and salty kettle corn is also like the best kettle corn out there in my opinion but i'm gonna pass on it because it's it's so good you eat the whole bag. For $7, I love this brand Siete and their grain-free tortilla chips. The lime ones are awesome. I like that it's made with avocado oil and again, gluten-free. Everyone always asks, like if you're if you don't have celiacs or if you're not gluten intolerant, why do you try to do so much gluten-free? And it's really just because gluten is known to be inflammatory. It's not like good for anyone really. So I just try to avoid inflammatory foods and gluten being inflammatory is something I try try to reduce, but I'm still allowed to have it every so often. Oh, and they recently marked down the Siete snack size bags. It's still expensive. It's $12.50 right now for 14 bags. Still a pretty penny per bag, but if you like these in the snack size version for lunch boxes or whatever, it's at least on sale right now. Okay, and for $7, I am 1000% getting these right now. These look so good. Same brand Siete, and they are mini Buñuelos whatever that is. They're like little little popcorn chips with cinnamon sugar on it. And I make this fruit salsa that I love and it tastes so good with cinnamon sugar chips. So that is what I'm going to make. Also, these are gluten-free. Overall, I don't get that much stuff in the pantry area from Sam's Club because there's usually not a ton of gluten-free options, but there are some. I recently went to the farmer's market and got a whole bunch of fruit, so there's nothing I really need. They do have apple pears right now or Asian pears. It's $10 for the six pack. Something that I think is cool is for $10, they have actual 100% fresh squeezed orange juice that they squeeze in-house. For $8, I am going to get these cuties for lunch boxes this week. And y'all know I'm in my least favorite room now in any kind Costco or Sam's Club, the giant refrigerator, but I'm in here for y'all. I don't even know. I don't even know what I need in here. I don't need anything in here because I already bought all my fruit this week for the most part. This is the only thing I consistently rebuy in this area, this Suja green juice, but I still have some at home right now. It's $9.28 for this large container here, which is like 50% less expensive than getting it at Whole Foods. For $12.88, this is way too much money, $12.88 for eight little key lime pie dipped yogurt things, but I am 
obsessed with key lime pie and you can't find key lime pie anything right now. So I need my key lime pie fix. I'm gonna get this. I guess this really isn't that much more expensive than the Noosa Greek yogurt little cheesecake bites that you can get at Walmart and Target, which I have been buying those because I'm obsessed with them and you get some protein in there. And as I said before, I need more protein. So this is a good excuse to get some protein and dessert at the same time. And looky here, gluten free. We're speeding through here because I gotta go get my kids soon. We're going to the frozen and refrigerated area. Um, instant savings, $3 off these bison burgers. I used to get these for my ex and make them for him, but I guess I don't need to do that anymore. But bison meat is healthier than cow meat, so that is why we used to get them, and I do recommend those. Still passing on the Chick-fil-A dupe nuggets just because we are loving the Costco ones. The, I think it's called Just Bear Nuggets at Costco. I wish they had some gluten-free pizzas, but they do not. So I'm passing on all the pizzas, even though I do know I love Uno's pizza. These mini quiches are new for $11. You get 24 spinach and Swiss and 24 ham and Swiss. For $17.98, these are also new. It looks like Members Mark maybe has some new packaging and new items everywhere here. These lobster crostinis get 18 pieces for about $18. Also next to these, you got, you got the Hot Pockets. You get 20 for $15. I don't think I've had a Hot Pocket since high school, but in high school, I would eat a Hot Pocket a day at least. Again, in this new Members Marked packaging, for $12, they have cheese stuffed mushrooms. You get 16, 36 Spanakopita. I, I know I never pronounced that right for $12. We got spinach artichoke bites here for $11. You get 24, $12 for 14 pieces of bacon wrapped shrimp. Yeah, Members Mark is got some good app options for the holidays. For $14.98, these Chobani flips I think are so good. I recently got this key lime pie one. Again, whenever I find key lime pie, I just get it. So good. Oh, this is heavenful. That is a good word. I was just talking about the Stroop waffles in my Costco Shop With Me video. They're so good. They're like wafery and have caramel inside. Amazing. And they figured out a way to improve it and added ice cream to the middle. Oh, that looks so good. If you want to keep hanging out, I will have other shop with me's floating over the screen at this point. This is the haul that I got. This is how much money I spent. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.